dear viewers, this is Antilles Gaming here, and today we are back on Outer Wilds. I just want to start by saying that I am sorry for the... What I am can no doubt say is well-deserved frustration about this, uh, ta this uh, projection stone. I was misreading what was being what was being told to me and I will admit that is my fault because I did come to this place I did put the stone here I observed through it and saw this and that's why I assumed that I had to go here to make it work I'm an idiot I am, I, like, I, I'm an idiot. I'm stupid. I... Puzzle games have always been difficult for me because I can't, I'm not a very good thinker. But that's why I like puzzle games. They make it so that I challenge myself to prove that I can do this. That I can figure these out. That's why I only try to ask for hints if I'm really stumped. That being said... This is the thing. Th this is... It's... Like, that is literally where I teleport from. And I was misreading what was being told to me. And again, I am sorry. I did not mean to do the confusion. Remy and I reviewed the rec the records you sent. Poke and you sent poke, and they are they appear to show Nomai are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. As I've already told you, Remy, these measurements can't be accurate. How can Nomai arrive on Brutal Hollow before he or she even stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Sorry. I don't disagree. It would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about natures of time. Yes, I hope so too. Poke. As Pi is co confident, the reading is inaccurate. She's kindly helping me attempt to recreate the phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. Yet, we've been there. We're designing an experiment to take more data. Again, we've been there we've that remember the ending we, we broke the very fabric of time an update poke the high energy lab is in is in the canyon of the amber twins equator come here at once you need to see this i understand it's, ex it's exceedingly odd but clary and i have tested and retested the equipment and the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandth of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't be accurately measured? Time can't accurately measure time to such a small degree. Yeah, I, well, at least the ship log's updated, but. Yeah, at this point, like, we all, it hasn't, it didn't really tell us anything that we didn't already know. But, for a completion, for a completionist standpoint, it was pretty good info. Also, uh, VK, uh, you, I remember you were telling me to find the other way down into the Hanging City. I don't remember exactly where it was because I found it a while back and I but I know it's in this area. I did find an area somewhere I did find a hole somewhere in this 
And there it is. Yeah, see? I found a way. Yeah, see, I found a way in. Now... We're going to... I still need to try to figure out how to get into the lab or whatever. Forge. But we're going to save that for another episode. I said in the last one that we were going to go to the uh, interloper. And I really wanted to try to get to that. Yeah, and that's another, that's another way you can get in here. There's a... Uh, you can follow the... There's a waterfall that comes down here, so yeah, you can take that too. What? Black hole for... I know where it went. I know where it docked. Ugh. Are you kidding me? Okay, uh... Okay, so I know where it docked. I... That, that is the only way that I know to get down, he down here fast. As to getting back up... Yeah, I'm still kind of stumped on that. Like, okay, so I'm gonna be running out of fuel soon, and I'm not 100% if there's a way up. If there is, I am very, 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 very sorry that I am that I don't know. But I know a kind of shortcut to get there. It's gonna, on a plus side, I get to go back to my ship and refuel. But I'll be right back when we get back up top. Okay, just a little quick heads up. I had got here before, and it was in a way that I'm going to show in a little bit. But my game crashed. So I'm going to be redoing everything that I found here. So if you don't see the ship log updating, I I swear, I promise, I swear and promise everything. I didn't look up any videos. I didn't find other way another way to get here. The way that I got here what you're about to see is is gonna look stupid, but I can I promise you, this is how I got here the first time before my, the game crashed multiple times, which it's never done before, and yeah, that that's how I got here. I know for a fact this is not how you're supposed to get here. I know, I know that, but if it works, it works, I guess, like, that that's the only way I could, I could figure out how to do it semi-quickly, <sighs> but yeah, I'm going to re-read all this, and then... 
talk about the theory and all that that I had before the game decided, nah, he has some good footage. Let's go ahead and just, uh, blink. I think that's where the, uh, forge is. I think that's the forge. I think that's where he makes them. Ugh, I'm not looking for it. I have to read all this again. Clarion Root kindly tuned the alignments on each black hole core as I finished them. The schematic on the floor shows which warp tower aligns with which astral body. The schematic shows six towers on Ash Twin are being tuned to only five alignments. Is that a mistake? No, that's correct. For all these, uh, for these alignments, we've decided to treat the Hourglass Twins as a single astral body. If it helps, you can imagine the Hourglass Twins as aligning with themselves. Have you seen Flox's tower design in High Energy Lab on Ember Twin? They clarify each tower's warp destination. To speed future deliveries to Ash Twin, I've tuned the first black hole core to activate when the warp tower aligns with Brittle Hollow. Hmm. And before anyone comments, yes, I'm aware that this reduced the distance between Yarrow and me. Also, if you notice that it pauses every now and then, I am not taking any chances. I am recording every single, like every two minutes. Where am I taking this first black hole core? And where am I taking the remaining cores once they're ready? All the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. My gratitude. In that case, Poke Clary and Poke 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 Clary. I'm leaving for delivery. I'll send Yarrow your regards. I return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to Root to help him deliver the first core to Ash Twin, just to make sure Yarrow receives it. Of course you are. The White Hope cores are for the six warp receivers. Each warp tower leads to a different planet, so that will be the a greater pain in your cervical spine. Yarrow knows the exact location. Okay, and the theory that I had, or hypothesis, however you want to word it, this tower leads here to Brittle Hollow. So, and I've noticed, which I don't think I'll be able to see it here, but there is a warp pad out there, one that leads here. So, that is on what on uh, Ash Twin, and I'm pretty sure I remember which tower that is. I'm pretty sure this is one of them that I use to. Uh, cheat my way to the, uh, Ashtwin project. Now, if I remember correctly, I don't think that this really showed me anything important. Like, I think it just, uh... Yeah, that's, this is the stuff that I read inside the... Uh, Ash Twin project. Yeah, see? Yeah, I, that's... This is all stuff that I read inside the Ash Twin project, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna reread that. Again, with the last episode, I... Like, I really did find that place by accident. Uh, I was playing on the Xbox version, and I found it by accident on there, and that's where I did my tests. Like I said, when I I play on Xbox to try to figure things out, that way I can get things moving along on here. But 
I think I'm gonna stop doing that. Like, stop playing it on Xbox, so that when I do it on here, it's a bigger shock value or reveal to me. Also, yeah, I know where that is. That's that, uh... That's that, uh... Destroyed house that's above us. Because that one would have been how we would have gotten down here. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Yeah, so the first time I did that, it took... It took a lot of tries, but then the next time I did it, I had done it so much that I kind of figured out like from muscle memory or whatever on kind of how to get it lodged like that so yeah that's that's how I got it to get stuck I'm pretty sure I can still get it out but uh, who knows uh I I don't I really don't want to sit here and wait for that to go off cuz I don't know when it will go off. So, I'm going to go back to the ship. We're going to read some ship logs. Really wish the game wouldn't have crashed cuz I really really wanted to show my reaction whenever I got it stuck here. Like uh, the game just really likes messing with me. Yeah, the first few times, oh, it did not go well. Okay, so whenever I did it, it unlocked... Yeah, it unlocked more data here. The know I debated on how to obtain the powerful, highly advanced warp core required for the Ashwin project. The Nomai traveled to the solar system in pursuit of a signal from something older than the universe itself. They named it the, the source, the Eye of the Universe. Uh, black Hole Forge. All the Black Hole Cores were sent to the warp, co warp Towers being constructed on Ash Twin. The White Hole Cores were sent to the six Warped Receivers, each on a different planet. A Nomai named Poke successfully forged an advanced Warp Core for the Ash Twin project. I think what I'm going to do after he this, I'm going to reset my uh, PlayStation, just in case that's the problem also I still need to get here I know there's a way I know there's a way like I want to try to figure it out on my own I want to try to figure how to get there out on my own because I don't mind the help but lately I've kind of been asking for help a little too much like I'm like it's not gonna be as I'm, I want it to be a, this to be as entertaining as I can, and if I just keep asking for help, well then I don't know. Like I don't know how entertaining that would be for y'all. Like I don't mind the help, I really don't. But I don't know. Then I notice something strange. Warped objects appear to arrive at the receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before they departed the White Hole Station. This negative time interval between an object arriving and departing was incredibly minuscule, roughly 100,000 of a second. The Nomai were skeptical if their equipment could even measure time to such a small degree. The North pole of Brittle Hollow is covered in snow and ice. There is a uniquely shaped Nomai ruin on the surface. The Nomai were able to warp here from the White Hole Station. This is where they f first recreated warp technology. Uh, there was another one somewhere, but thank you game for the crash. We are... Getting like more blanks filled in, so at least that's a thing. I still need to get here. What I need to do though, find where, get here, 
Many know why I went to the pilgrimage during which the Quantum Moon carried them to the sixth and most secret location. To explore the sixth location, the shrine on the Quantum Moon must be on the moon's north pole. The Noah built a shrine on the Quantum Moon to aid the pilgrimage to its sixth location. I have a feeling that this ship, the Solomon shuttle, I have a feeling that shuttle is the is a key to get here. That being said, I had died on the game. When I woke up and his eyes opened the first time, there was something in the sky floating. Then he blinked and it disappeared. If that, I'm pretty sure that might have been the quantum moon. Because if the quantum moon works like the uh, quantum rocks, like, uh, yeah, the, like, work like these, uh, the strange rocks that, uh, make things disappear, re disappear, reappear, teleport, and all that, if the quantum moon works like that, I think I did see it, but then he blinked. And it disappeared, so I wasn't able to get to it. So there has to be a way to actually get to the quantum moon without having to be lucky. But we'll figure that out. Again, if you're noticing that I'm, uh, again, if you're noticing that I'm constant, that the video is constant, like pausing for a little bit that's because with the playstation features of recording that i'm using i am not taking the chance of this game crashing again because i am already not in a happier mood because i really wanted my reaction of whenever i got here to have been shown but thanks to the game crashing that did not happen but looks like we got some time Pretty sure I found everything I can here at the Black Hole Forge. Uh, White Hole Station, Black Hole Forge, Black Hole Forge, Black Hole Forge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I found everything here. So, since I found everything here and I said in the last episode we would try to get onto the interloper, that is where we're going to go. We are going to try to get on the interloper. First things first, let's make sure that we aren't stuck. Almost. Almost. Come on. Yes. And now we're free. Okay. Next stop. The interloper. Which is... Pretty close. No, we are not going to Dark Bramble for a while. We have things that we need to do. Dark Bramble will wait. Okay, so where do I That's the shuttle That's, that's the shuttle. This is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back from the gravi gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Which we have. Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle. Until someone recalled it, perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark bramble com on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think, Clary if I think, Clary, if you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I are continue can continue to investigate the surface. Let's 
let's go ahead and uh, read the ship logs. Before we... Because I'm pretty sure there's more to this. It can't just be nothing. Like, it... it it can't it can't just be nothing here. There has to be something else. I found on my shuttle almost completely in case of ice. Wait. The Nomai landed on the interloper not long after its arrival in the solar system. The shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. There were three Nomai aboard the shuttle. One of them stayed behind to keep the shuttle warm while the other two explored the interloper. Clary, the Nomai who stayed behind, lost contact with the other two after they descended below the interloper's surface. So there is a way inside. That is good to know. And we will find that way inside. Somehow. Oh boy. Okay. 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 So if I step on that, I'm going to start slipping and sliding around. Uh, but then... Oh boy. I know there's a way in, so what I'm probably going to do... Is... Be right back. Yeah, I'm gonna be right back when we find the way in. Meanwhile, I'm gonna land the shuttle. You heard that, right? Was it? Okay, yeah, it was just... Yeah, so I'll be right back whenever we find the way in. Because I know there has to be a way in. If... They made it in and she lost contact with him. So yeah, be right back. Test okay, so I'm testing out a theory right now because the last time I was on this area, I died when the ice melted and I fell inside. So I believe that maybe that's maybe how I get in. I think there's, I think I have to maybe melt the ice, but I don't know how I would go about doing that. I know there's a way in because the, the two know my, they made it in. And then she lost contact with him, which also, if I remember, I think one of them died on the shuttle. Because I think I remember... You hear it? Ha-ha! <laughs> I knew there was a way in. I think once it gets close enough to the sun... Yeah, I think once it starts getting close enough to the sun...
I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is, lie somewhere below, closer to the comet's center. And I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we will lose communications entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious, both of you. Uh... Okay, so these crystals don't entirely mean... So these crystals don't entirely mean that there is going to be ghost matter. Okay, that one's going to kill me. The only one that I've seen that gets me close to it without it actually going through is this one, so... <sighs> Nothing ventured. Nothing gained. Is this the origin of the ghost matter? It, is this where the ghost matter comes from? Is it pieces of the comet? Okay, so... I need to maneuver myself through these tunnels Take it slow, try to take it slow. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. this comet. The spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the hot of the energy readings. No, 
rather, the source is what's within the stone. I'm detecting some form of exotic matter. The stone is muting our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing, at least. Pi, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact it with it would almost certainly be fatal. So they didn't... So this is where the material came from. I've never encountered anything like this, like this casing, but it'll, but it's all the, that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse, worse still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. Pi, whatever the matter inside this stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable, it's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never, sorry, I've never seen anything like th anything this tightly compact before. What is this? This is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagine. If this stone were to rupture, the leth the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing this star system almost instantaneously and the pressure is still building as the comet approaches the star the star system return to the shuttle right now the rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger leave your equipment and run jeez oh, what are you doing pi the more we know about this alien matter, the better our chance of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go warn the others. Maybe we they can construct shelter somehow. Now, Poke. But he didn't make it out. He even has some growing on him. Oh god. So I was right, this comet is the source of the ghost matter. As we can see, he didn't get far. We're gonna try to get back to the ship and then we'll end the episode there. Pretty sure I still remember how to get out of here. I don't think we're getting back to the ship. Yep. 
Yeah, we're not getting back to the ship. <sighs> so we now know where the ghost matter came from. We also know what happened to three more Nomai. Man, that sucks. Like... They could have... If they would have gotten that information back, then think, we could have a defense against this, but... Okay, so we're gonna go read the ship logs, and then we're gonna end it there. I'm finding out some interesting things now. I found two missing members of the Nomai shuttle crew near a large ruptured stone that looks like it exploded from the inside. The, Mo the Nomai traced the strange energy readings to a spherical stone casing filled with some sort, some form of exotic matter. They determined the exotic matter was both lethal and under extreme pressure. If the stone... I hate yawning. If the stone were to rupture, the exotic matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the solar system almost instantaneously. One of the Nomai stayed behind to examine the alien matter while the other rushed back to the surface to warn the rest of the Nomai. Unfortunately, we know that did not happen. It's always sad whenever I find things and then just see dead Nomai. Like... Hold on, I want to see something. No. I'll... I was trying to see if... North Pole marked in red on the mini-map is a great spot to listen for our other trip. I was trying to see if maybe there was a mystery or something that we were missing here. Because you know how sometimes some games hide... Hide things in the default area. But that also brings up a good point whenever I read... I haven't actually fully explored even the moon of this place. So... I think next episode we're gonna try to find out what we're missing on the moon and then we'll go from there I know I should have had all that discovered long ago but oh no 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 you stay there Oh, he's actually he actually is whistling. Those off. The wait, does dozing off do something? I guess I guess like if you need instead of like having to wait for something to happen, you can just doze off and it'll that way you can get to that point in time, which that's usually what most games ha that have a sleep function do. But, yeah. That's going to be it for this one. Like I said, I'm going to start trying to figure these things out for myself. I'm welcome to hints. I'm welcome to hints. Like, just try to, try to be aware that I... If I'm not understanding a hint, I'm not doing it on purpose. 
I've just never been a really quick thinker. Like, I'll figure it out eventually. Just not, not like as fast as, oh, these yawns. I'm not going to figure it out as fast as other people would. And I'm really not trying to come off that way. But, yeah. That is going to be it for this episode. And, like I said, we're going to try to explore this area in the next episode. To try to figure out what we're missing here. Because I know I'm missing some things. But, that will be for the next episode. So, with all of that being said... Thanks all you so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe, leave a like. As always, please leave me a comment down below. Because the comments are the only way I can improve on these. And if you want to chat directly or check out updates on the channel, check me out on Twitter and Instagram at Antilles Gaming. Also, I live stream every Friday at 7.30 Central Time on Twitch. Right now, I am live streaming Metro Exodus. So if you want to come swing by and, and chat with me while watching some quality gameplay, by all means, come by. Be happy to talk to y'all. And with all of that being said, I will see all of you in the next episode. How many eyes do I have?